when they took him, it, it was very terrifying. They told my grandfather they were gonna bring him back if he wasn't the one. So I didn't sleep all night. Every time a car went by, we're well, here they come. The dark was a thousand midnights, and it seemed like daylight would never come. Sitting there in the dark, I was just terrified because my imagination, you know, was running away with me, and I'm planning my getaway because I'm in Mississippi and I got to get out of here. Once the news got to Chicago, my mother, some kind of way, got in touch with my daddy's brother, Albert Parker. And Uncle Albert takes him to Duck Hill, to Uncle William's house. My Uncle William took me earlier to the train station, and that's when I was able to get out of there, so. Excuse me, but I always had a lot of respect for my uncles. In the South, they were putting their life on the land to get involved with something like that. He wasn't the first one, and he wasn't the last one. Black people, black men and black boys especially, were often smuggled out of Mississippi in the middle of the night because there was a threat on their life, and they had to get out as soon as possible, as quickly as possible. Yeah, I just couldn't get home fast enough. When I got to the train station, they were there to pick me up and they took me straight to Emmett Till's mother's house. I felt, I don't know if the word is guilty or what, but uh, when I saw her, I'm, I'm here, and I survived, and her son didn't. It's kind of hard to put into words, but uh, it, it had a bearing on me. By now, from Sunday morning, her, her son has been missing over 24 hours, I guess, had passed. And they knew the South. They knew the South. This is the muddy backwoods Tallahatchie River, where a weighted body was found. Three days after Emmett Till was missing, his body was found by a young boy who was fishing in the Tallahatchie River. Robert Hodges, the only thing he found of the child Emmett in the Black Bayou was the leg sticking up. And he notified the sheriff department, and they came out and took the body. When the, the, the sheriff came and told me they had found the body at Phillip and wanted me to go and identify the body, which I did. And we found the body with, uh, with didn't have on any clothes at all. The body was so badly damaged that we couldn't hardly just tell who he was. Brutally beaten. A cotton gin fan tied around his neck with a piece of barbed wire in the hopes to hold the body down. It was a naked body that was swollen and battered and beaten. But he happened to have on a ring with his initial, and that cleared it up. His father's ring was still on his finger, and that was the proof that Papa offered in identifying him as being Emmett.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.